and the AIBC Summit. With us is Joel. Joel, tell us about your company and your new project. So I started you know, MetaMask in the early Ethereum days, and uh, that was the first bridge to kind of accessibility, I think. We have 5 million active users now, and basically started another project called Art Wallet that is really looking to be like the Spotify for NFTs, basically giving ad access to audio and visual streaming content through NFTs, uh, and basically facilitating a new creator economy. Is this a passing trend, however, because suddenly everyone is into NFTs, everyone wants to buy and sell them. Um, what do you think, that this will uh, explode even more or that it will go away? I mean, ICOs were a passing phase and then they weren't. I mean, tokens are still very important. So I think the core technology behind NFTs is going to transform many industries um, from, you know, art to virtual real estate to real real estate to other types of asset classes, precious minerals, stones, commodities. So we're really at the very early stage of the whole NFT adoption curve. So let's say we reach mass adoption. Is the blockchain landscape equipped to deal with a surge? Uh, not right now, but you know, layer two solutions are coming along very nicely in the Ethereum world. You know, Ethereum 2.0 is still coming along, and then there's lots of other you know alternative you know Ethereum-based systems that uh, you know we're happy providing cross-chain capability for. Blockchain and NFT started out as being kind of somewhat for an elite group of people. Now they're becoming more and more popular. Even Sotheby's has uh, gotten behind them. Is this kind of defeating the whole purpose? No, I think it's really great trend overall, and you know, if, if people can start using the technology without thinking about how it's working, I think that's even a greater win for everyone. So, does this mean new money is the way for the future, and that banks have their days counted? Yeah, I think just in general, DeFi is eating banks, and you know, we're and and basically building the future of banking systems, and that also is good for everyone because so many people are trapped with basically zero yield, um, and this is going to open up a massive amount of financial opportunities for the whole world. Thank you for that, Joel, and thank you for following us at the AIBC Summit.